Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Another warm day today, a mix of 70s and 80s by the bay and even some low 90s for the inland valleys, including San Jose, Hollister and Soledad. Hard to believe it's now November and we are still this warm, but it's not going to last too much longer. Here's fog. Yeah, it's come into the coast this evening and it's dense and it's thick where it is and it's mostly around the bay and then uh, coming into Salinas. It's working its way down the Salinas Valley, so uh, most likely there's nothing that's going to stop that from happening overnight. We do have a weak frontal boundary right here. You can see some cloud cover, uh, no real moisture associated with it in terms of rain, at least not for us. And you can see on the water vapor imagery, it certainly is a different air mass. Uh, there is, again, the cloud cover, but no a big slug of moisture. And we have a weak area of low pressure over the state right now, uh, but again, none of that uh, providing any relief in terms of rainfall, at least not yet. Now, there are some big changes coming. You can see uh, this is the atmosphere. So this is sort of the temperature profile, and you can see we're still very mild, and we're going to stay there on Tuesday and into Wednesday. So here you go, Wednesday evening. We're still pretty much about the same temperature-wise. Uh, maybe the coast cools a little bit more, but there is a very cold system up to our north that will start to come down on Thursday and Friday. And look at that change. I mean, you don't have to be a meteorologist to see that there's something going on here. And you also see these lines of equal pressure. And when you squeeze those really tight like they are, you generally get some wind. So we're talking about much colder temperatures at the end of the week. This is Friday and the breeze starts to pick up and that will probably go right through the upcoming weekend. The bigger question is, can we make any rain out of these systems? The first front that just kind of fizzles out tomorrow and Thursday. The second one does the same. Some showers up in the Pacific Northwest on Wednesday and Thursday. But again, here's that system that's going to drive that cold front through on Friday. Now there are showers up in Oregon, Northern California, some snow probably for the Sierra. The big question is, are we going to be able to generate any showers here? And we're still not sure. There's certainly going to be a chance of that. And if you're thinking that this could potentially be a fire season ending rain, I highly doubt that. It's not the kind of system that generally gives us a widespread soaking, but showers could be. Uh, so we will continue to track that again. That's all for the end of the week and into next weekend. So something certainly uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed on. Hopefully get some moisture 40 to 50 overnight. We're cool. We're chilly in a lot of spots again with the dense bay fog at the coast. Definitely a bit damp. Upper middle 40, Santa Cruz, Monterey, same thing, Watsonville 45, 49, Salinas. I uh, was some low 40s for the valleys, 48 over in San Jose. Now for tomorrow, we still have a mix of upper 60s to middle 70s at the coast. We may hold on to some of those low clouds for a while, eventually mix those out, go back to partly cloudy, so we're still mild. And mid 70s to middle 80s for the valleys and hills with just some passing high clouds from that weakening front off the coast, but again, uh, no real moisture coming at us just yet. Your forecast highs for tomorrow, low 70s to middle 70s at the coast with afternoon sunshine and a breeze. And then there go the 80s again for Gilroy, Hollister, Soledad. That is a cooler day than today, so we are cooling off a little bit. Mid 70s up in the Santa Cruz Mountains and about 70 up in San Francisco. Your KSBW eight day forecast shows the temperatures holding more or less through Wednesday. We talked about that and then that dry cold front comes in on Friday. Could get a little blustery right through the weekend. Look at the highs, 50s and low 60s. Oh yeah, that's going to feel like November finally. And those cool temperatures will probably stick around through the early part of next week. And there are some hints that we could actually get another shot at some showers next week as well. So we'll see how it all plays out. Overnight lows are going to be in the 40s and low 50s. And then by Friday, Saturday and Sunday night, low 30s to low Whoa. 40s. If we clear out any of one of those nights, we could even see colder temperatures could be down around the freezing mark. We'll see how it goes. The biggest thing I'm hoping for is that the system trends wetter so we could start putting some showers in the forecast. This is my fault. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, we were I, talking I, about I, that.